Hello guys, um, just want to thank all my followers out there for you guys who have been sticking with me through this little bit of a tough time, but the good news is I'm back. I should be doing regular videos again and my life is way more consistent now. I have my house back, um, my surgeries, my everything seems to be prepped, so now I, it's just so convenient that it's the new year and we can start this whole lifestyle. So those of you who want to follow me, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just doing kind of, you know, a new you, restart to the new year. And I think it couldn't be a better time because now the holidays are over. And a lot of us who have been putting some things on hold or the brakes on a couple things are probably ready to get going again. So um, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but I've just got some bacon, bacon cooking up, some cauliflower on the stove. And I am actually just getting started. So for those of you who want to join into this, I'm kind of going to do a really big healthy detox cleanse. And that's probably going to be starting next week. So those of you who want to get on this plan, want to get on this diet, kind of want to start shopping and do what you need to, I'll try and do some videos up to that. But just plan on next week, we are going to get started so, um, for those of you who want to know, I am in quite a bit of pain. I'm super bloated, so I don't really want to use my weight yet because I don't think it's that accurate, but I'll just show you guys. It's kind of ugly. So, yeah, it's awesome, right? I am so bloated still, so, but um, that's for my surgery, so um, still in a lot of pain um, on hydrocodone at the codone. I can't speak for the moment, but it is helping me feel a lot better. Anything too much movement is jarring. Um, it's been really hard to eat keto just because a lot of the foods I, you know, ugh, they just sound bad. I just want like quick carbs. What are you doing over there, Missy? But I've been good. I have really cut up a ton of vegetables and done a lot of ranch. And I've had a lot of protein shakes because I tried to eat like beef the other day and oh, it was just too much on my stomach. It just, it's hard to eat anything so filling because protein's very heavy. So I'm just keeping it light. I'm not really worried about what I'm eating or not eating at the moment, but you know, it just happens to be more keto. But I've had a couple popsicles or some like, I don't know, Gatorade, which I don't really know if it's that keto or not. You know, it says low carb and all that, but you know, I typically would not drink those things otherwise but I'm doing the best with what I have and starting next week because of going through all this and surgeries you need to kind of cleanse your body of everything now here's what we're going to talk a little bit is about detoxes inflammation do you need to be on a detox no if you're eating healthy your body should naturally be able to detox it's eating whatever it is so people usually detox so that they can eat a whole bunch of crap or drop enough weight just to look skinny for some photos and then trash it by drinking a ton of alcohol or eating a bunch of crappy food because it's going to trigger those instincts to eat bad things. So we don't want any of that. What we're trying to do is set us up for a lifestyle. So what I would usually call a detox is you want to like de-sugarize basically. You want to get your body used to tasting normal natural healthy foods again and it could be done in multiple different ways this is what's so nice about this diet is that it's really catered to you you should pick what you want to eat and that's why this works the key to this though what we're going to do is we're trying to get our bodies on low inflammation so for example like that bruise if i kept aggravating it or hitting it or re-injuring it it's not going to heal it's just going to keep festering or could get worse. Same thing is your body needs time to heal. So inflammation, um, a lot of times, like people have figured out going paleo or something, um, you may be really aggravated to dairy, but then once you cut out grains, your body can then handle the dairy. Because if your body is in inflammation and it's fighting all this stuff all the time, then it can't deal with all this other stuff. But if you cut out the main irritants, all of a sudden your body can handle things or you might find there's an even bigger allergy. For example, 
when I first went low carb, I had trouble with eggs. I could do eggs twice a week, but not more than twice a week, or they would just kind of ir my, irritate my stomach or I'd get kind of burpy. Now that I've cut out grains, I can eat eggs at any point in time in the day. And dairy used to really aggravate me, and now I can do a little bit. But what's funny is cutting out grains is that I found out that I am very allergic to green beans. And my allergy to green beans increased. Like, cannot touch green beans. Like, it's bad. Like, really upset stomach. Not good. So, you'll find that your body changes as you detox yourself from certain items that you will be more tolerant or less tolerant. So, anytime you're holding on to a little bit of weight... That means something is inflaming you. So you might need to start with lower dairy for a while and then slowly add it back in. Um, especially if you have a high allergy to it. Or you might find going low carb, you absolutely cannot handle dairy. I mean, and that's just an example. That's not what's going to happen to you. But you have to play around with it. So that's what I want to inform you on inflammation. But I should have some videos for you you know, prior pretty much probably tomorrow and maybe one or two this week that's going to help us get prepped and start onto our new healthy lifestyles and achieving our goals for 2017.